Hi there, this is Dr. Sule. Great to share this moment with you. Friends, you know, we live in a time and an age where people now feel they can do without God. People now rely on their skill. Many now rely on their intelligence and saying all kinds of things that undermines a relationship with God, trying to undermine the importance of a relationship with Almighty God. Friends, this is the reality. We are all creatures of the Almighty God. And every day, we are recipients of His love. We are recipients of His mercies. And all that the Father wants from us is just to recognize His love and to respond to it. Just to recognize it and to respond to it. To recognize that He loves us regardless of where we are, who we are, and how we are. All He's asking from us is not to pay for the love, is not to do anything, you know, beyond the ordinary. Just recognize that I love you and just respond to my love. Respond to the love that I expressed by sending my son Jesus to die for you, to pay that ultimate spiritual sacrifice that has restored relationship, intimacy, fellowship between man and God. All we have to do is just to recognize that he loves us and to respond to his love. And how do we respond to his love? By asking him just to be Lord of our lives. By saying, regardless of who I am, where I have been, what I have done, you still love me. I can trust my future in your hands. I can trust my life with you. Possibly you're hearing me right now, watching this right now. And you're looking at your life and saying, I've done some incredible things. I've done some dirty things. I don't feel worthy. I don't feel um, this should be for me or this is about me. Listen, this is for you. Regardless of where you have been, what you have done, Jesus loves you. He wants to express more of his love to you. He wants to help you. Every area you have a struggle, he wants to help you. He wants you to express practically his help, his love in all areas of your life. All I need you to do today is just to recognize that his love has been what has kept me to now. And his love is all I need for the days to come. All you need to do today, recognize and respond to the love of your father. And if you would like to do that right now, all I need you to do is to repeat these words after me. It's that simple, straightforward. And when you do this, a new season begins for you from today. Say this with me. Say, dear father, I come to you today. I recognize that you love me. I recognize that regardless of who I am, what I have, or what I don't have, you love me. Father, today, I respond to your love. I accept you to be my Lord, my Savior, my Master. Jesus, let your will alone be done in my life. Use my life to your praise and to your glory. Give me the grace to live for you all the days of my life. Thank you, my Father, for receiving me as your own and for showing me the love that you have. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It's that simple. It's that easy. Listen, you did something incredible just now. What you've just done carries great power. Listen, a new season has begun for you from today. All I need you to do is to feed this new relationship. Nurture this new relationship. Spend time in praying. Spend time in reading the Bible. And how do you get to do this? 
locate a place, a church where the word of God is taught, settle down with our resources on this platform. It will feed your faith. It will help you to grow in the right direction. And if you've prayed this rededication prayer, this salvation prayer, I would love to hear from you. Please send us an email, send us a message, let us know. I am one of those who prayed the prayer today. And when you visit the information desk menu on this website, there is a form. Just scroll down, you find it as a form that you need to feel. For those who just gave their life to Christ, fill that form and we will reach out to you. We want to help you grow. We want to help you enjoy this relationship and this decision that you have made. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you again.